Hey guys, Med School Made Easy. Today we'll be talking about um, Rutherford's classification of uh, chronic limb ischemia. Uh, we won't touch on the Fontaine or other, uh, you know, jabroni classification systems. We're going to follow the gold standard, uh, which is uh, Rutherford's. We're going to talk about the differences um, in terms of grading versus categorizing uh, this ischemia and what that means and what the different um, subgroup symptoms would be like. So, um, before I get too far ahead of myself, grades, when you talk about grade two, for example, chronic limb ischemia, it's different than category two. So you can't use these interchangeably. Um, grade is a little bit simpler to talk about because it just goes zero through four. And the nice thing about this is that the only reason why this is different is because it lumps all claudicants or all claudication from mild to super severe in just grade one. Uh, category, uh, category uh, rather goes from zero to six and kind of like I was mentioning this actually teases out is it mild moderate or severe claudication so let's go through each one and kind of talk about what that means um, zero in terms of grade or category both is for asymptomatic patients so these are people like the 18 year old Olympic athlete who you know, doesn't have any evidence of peripheral arterial disease or chronic limb ischemia. Um, grade one in the categories one, two, and three is claudication. Uh, cla claudication can be mild, moderate, or severe. Lifestyle limiting claudication. Claudication, as we've discussed in our other videos, is um, reproducible uh, muscle group pain that's caused by the same amount of activity like, for example, every time I walk 100 feet, my right buttock hurts in the same spot in this cramping, burning type pain. Um, you can obviously have mild symptoms, which, you know, occur after you walk a mile and it hurts your calf and then it goes away to moderate to severe. Um, like I said, grade simplifies and just says, hey, man, it's grade one, it's claudication, too easy. Um, chronic limb ischemia going on. So if we have grade two, um, which corresponds with category four. So grade two, category four. This is where we're now getting into rest pain. Uh, ischemic rest pain is classically, um, you know, pain across the dorsum uh, or the arch of the foot uh, when it's elevated. So like when I go to bed at night, my foot aches. And then when I hang my foot over the side of the bed, the pain goes away. That's rest pain. That's where, you know, your, your blood flow isn't enough with elevation because you have such severe chronic uh, peripheral arterial disease. Uh, grade three, this is now getting pretty bad and pretty advanced disease. This is now when you have start to have uh, minor ulcerations or non-healing wounds, right? So like the small arterial um, ulcer on the end of your second digit or your second toe. That's like classic grade three chronic limb ischemia. Uh, these patients have a hard time healing wounds. Um, they're going to be pretty sick individuals with lots of chronic diseases and, and comorbidities and things like that. These are like your vascular paths. And then um, grade four is bad, obviously it's the worst. That corresponds with category six uh, in Rutherford's classification. And um, that is gangrene, right? So <clears throat> dry gangrene, a mummified toe, a mummified foot. Um, that's not gonna heal, right? That's dead tissue that either will, um, you know, self demarcate and fall off or it needs to be amputated or debrided or whatever. So these are the different grades and categories of Rutherford's chronic limb ischemia classification. Um, one more thing to talk about, <clears throat> ABIs, which we talk about in a different video here. I'll put those over here on the left. You can use a simple ABI, ankle brachial index, to kind of, uh, you know, deduce where someone falls in this classification. An asymptomatic patient is going to be normal, right? 0 0.9 to 1.3 ABI. The claudicants, which is categories one through three for mild to severe, are gonna be like 0 0.5 to 0 0.9, somewhere in there. And then when you get you know rest pain and beyond, 0 0.4 to 0 0.5, and then grade three and four is gonna be definitely lower than 0 0.4. These are the people that have like a toe pressure of like you know 20 millimeters of mercury. Uh, they have really bad inflow disease to their foot. Uh, that's Rutherford's classification, thanks.